Aisha here. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect. Huge shout out to my day ones, my foundation subscribers, all of my new subscribers. Thank you. You are genuinely appreciated. And if you're checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, subscribe. Okay, Cancers, this is a general energy check-in. Take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Uh, feel free to check your sun, moon, or um, sign in Venus. And that may help you to connect the dots. If this is not your reading, that's cool. Don't stress. Click the notification button. I'm sure Spirit will have a message for you at some point in time in the future. Or you can always book me for a personal reading. All that information and more is in my description box. So, Cancers, let's see what Spirit has for you today. Thank you, Spirit. Woo! Okay, so like the deck, a quarter of the deck wanted to just pop out. Let's see. I'm going to do that again. <laughs> okay? Woo! These cards want to talk today. Today, today. Okay, Spirit, what messages do you have for the Cancerian Collective? You have Ace of Cups. Ah, that's good. That's very, very good, Cancers. That's good. You have the Hierophant. So I can, woo. Okay, see? These cards want <laughs> to talk. These cards are flying out of the deck. Okay, okay. Spirit, I just need one right now. I just need one. Can I get one more? Okay. Hmm, we have the sun in reverse. Okay, let's see what we got here. Spirit, please clarify Ace of Cups. Please clarify Ace of Cups. Mm, okay. Wow. Okay, Spirit, please clarify the Hierophant. Okay. Okay, there you are. There's, there you are. Okay. We have Queen of Water in reverse. Mm-hmm. There you are. Okay, so, Cancers. Okay. So in the past, Cancers, you could have been really happy with someone, or at least you thought you were happy with someone. The thing is, you never, you never really knew what true happiness was. Does that make sense to you? You looked at someone like, it's like you felt so lucky to be with them or so fortunate to have this person in your life. But there was something that you weren't seeing about this new beginning. Uh, like I said, you thought you were happy with someone, but you never knew what true happiness was. And I feel like it's because you were never truly, you never truly been happy with yourself, right? And the only way to know real fulfillment and joy or happiness or love is it to have it all with yourself, right? You are your reference point. If you want to know how to love someone, love yourself. If you want to know how to be happy with someone else, you have to be happy within yourself first. So you did not know your truth in the past. You didn't know who you were. You didn't know what you really wanted. 
Or some of you, I feel like you wanted to be in a relationship, but you never really knew what kind of relationship you wanted. Like, and when I say that, that's like what kind of person you want to be with, um, the dynamic of the relationship. Even if you wanted to it to be common law or get married, you never knew any of the, those things. You just you were happy to be with this person. I feel like you are so happy with someone you just took them the way they are, and you should do that. You should allow people to be who they are and you be yourself as well. So it's two people as individuals coming together, right? But you didn't know who you were. Mm -mm. So it's like, how can you show someone yourself if you don't know yourself? You understand what I'm saying? How could you truly be happy with someone if you don't really understand or know what that is for yourself? It's kind of like you were looking at someone as your wish fulfillment, someone as your happiness. Mm -hmm. And Spirit was like, no, you have to find that within yourself first. And then you attract that in. You attract, you don't chase. I keep hearing my cup runneth over. So you, you could have thought that you were going to have everything with this per person. House, land, car. G5, right? Mm hmm. Like everything was going to be set. I'm surprised the tower card is not here. I'm seeing the tower card in my third eye. It wasn't on a. The relationship wasn't built on a solid foundation. It was kind of just floating. Mm hmm. And it's because you were floating. You weren't stable with yourself. Mm hmm. It's like you knew you wanted love, but you didn't know how to love. I'm hearing that, um, that Lil Wayne song. Had a lot of crooks try to steal your heart. Mm. Could have never figure out how to love. How to love. You had a lot of moments that didn't last forever. Now you're in the corner trying to put together how to love something. I'm, I'm sorry, I butchered the song, but it's Little Wayne, How to Love. Hmm. You have the Hierophant, Cancer. It looks like... <laughs> You can't make a decision on something. You can't make a decision on a relationship that you're in. It's either you can't make it or you don't want to make it. Oh, this is not you. Cancers, you're dealing with somebody who can't make a decision on if they want to be in a committed relationship with you or not. The thing is, this person is confused. They don't know if they really want to be with you. They want to invest and they don't. <laughs> Let me say that again. They don't, they can't make a decision if they want to be with you or not, but they want to invest in the relationship and they do not want to fight with you. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some of you could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius as well. Doesn't have to be. I'm just picking up those signs. It, it's just I'm just getting this energy of someone who keeps going back and forth. They want to be with you, but they don't want to be. Something is holding this person back. Something is holding this person back. I'm gonna find out what it is. <laughs> okay, Spirit, what's holding this person back? What is uh, the reason for the indecision? What's the reason for the indecision? Because this person, look at this, you have three of water. So they want to invest in the relationship. They look at you as someone that they could grow with. They could build something with. They could put in the work and be satisfied. And they don't want to fight. They don't want no drama. <laughs> no, they don't. Spirit, what is this person indecisive about? What's going on with them? Oh, you have queen of air in reverse. So this person 
They can't make a decision because they're confused. <laughs> okay? This is someone who's in their feelings about things. They don't see things clearly. This could also be someone who... They kind of make up scenarios in their head and they run with them. So even if... Not no go so. <laughs> okay? Even if that's not even what happened in the situation... That's how they see it, so that's what it is, right? And you're, you're standing there like, what the fuck are you talking about? That's not even what happened. I wasn't even wearing that color that day, right? <laughs> and to them, yes, you fucking were, okay? You painted your whole body that color. That's what's up. So this person is, they're, they're confused. You're dealing with someone who is extremely... <sighs> they don't know if they're coming or going. They don't know if they want to come or go. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. Spirit, any other messages about why this person is confused? Wow, that one just flew out. Oh boy. Okay. You could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But this person is confused because they're not happy with themselves. This person also could have other options. But they're not happy with those options either. Right? The other people that they're seeing, other people that they're sleeping with... Cancer, you're dealing with someone here who just, I don't want to say misery loves company. It's more of a miserableness, if that makes sense. This is someone who's just not happy with themselves. This has absolutely nothing to do with you and everything to do with their own inner issues. This person doesn't feel stable. Uh, they don't feel like they could grow anything. They don't feel like uh, they, they could feel maybe shaky when it comes to their money too. Like they're not on solid ground. I feel like this person may have money problems. As a matter of fact. I'm also feeling... Uh, wow. I'm feeling confused. Cancer, who the fuck are you dealing with? It's like their head is in the cloud. It's like their body's here, but their head is like somewhere else. Their head is somewhere, their mind is somewhere else. Their soul is fragmented. It's just very scattered energy. It's fucking wild. It's crazy. It's making me feel lightheaded and confused. This is how this person feels. They don't know what's going on with them. Cancer, you were separated from this person because of this energy that they're in. Rejection is protection, okay? Spirit's like, you do not have time for this. You're still learning, who discovering other layers, aspects of yourself. Throwing this into the mix would have just made things worse. So Spirit's like, no. You can go over in your corner and figure your shit out. Cancer's going to keep it moving. This person needs to learn how to be happy with themselves. I feel like they have a lot of healing to do as well. Emotional healing, emotional wounds. They could not have healed from a previous relationship. I am picking up childhood wounds too. There was, there's something to do with not getting enough attention or not getting the right kind of attention. Because it's like this person may be going around sleeping with other people or trying to get to know somebody. Wow, I just heard somebody's doing something strange for some change. I don't even want to get into that. <laughs> I don't even want to get into that one. It's, I don't want to get into it. But somebody is trying to, it's like they're trying to find themselves in other people and it's just making it worse. It's making it worse. That's why they can't figure out what's going on with them. They have too many... They've absorbed and in intermingled with too many other people. This person has slept with too many, so many other people. They don't know who the fuck they are. They're a whole bunch of everybody that they've slept with. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, boy. Cancer. No, man. No. Look at this. You have the sun in reverse. So, Cancer... You have, hmm, 
you know what I'm, I'm just feeling I'm feeling the energy of someone who doesn't feel good enough they don't feel like they have enough money they don't feel like they're good looking enough they don't feel like they have enough to offer you that's why they're having uh, a hard time deciding if they want to be with you or not I feel like this person doesn't think that they have anything to offer you but it's all internal all of these this um this energy of lack lack mentality uh, not knowing your this is all them mm -hmm. this is what's going on in their inner world and it could just be manifesting in their outer world now is you have the sun here in reverse the sun is supposed to be that look at that do you see this color of my screen just change that spirit like yes that's right this is I just I'm feel I feel like I want to cry. It's like um, when you want to cry, but you're holding back the tears, so your throat feels kind of like you have a rock in your throat or a lump in your throat. Or somebody is either close to tears or they've been crying. I'm just gonna say it like it is, cancers. If you are still with this person, you're not happy, mm -hmm. and they're not happy. This person could be very unstable in the relationship. One minute they're there, the next minute they're not. One minute you're together, the next minute you're not. Uh, one minute they want to they wanna act like you guys are married, the next minute they want their space. Mm -hmm. If you stay with this person, you're not going to be happy either, and you're going to continue to feel alone. Mm -hmm. But I feel like... If you haven't done this already, in the near future, you're going to be letting this go. Yes, you are. You start to realize that you weren't seeing things clearly in the relationship with someone. You start to realize that you really weren't happy because you never knew what true happiness was. You also start to realize that this person is not balanced. They're masculine and feminine energies. Like I said, someone's in their feelings. They don't see shit clearly. They make up stories and run with them. They exaggerate shit. Mm -hmm. Create scenarios in their head and that's what it is. You can't tell them nothing. Mm -hmm. But this, you're dealing with someone who is also easily influenced by other people. Mm -hmm. Cancers, you could have been dealing with someone who was very materialistic and they acted like money could buy everything, but I heard to their dismay, they realized that money can't buy the things that are most valuable, like love and health. Health is wealth, right? They can't... Oh. Okay, so I just heard the person you're dealing with they couldn't afford the things that money can't buy. Does that make sense to you? So it's like the things that this person values are not even valuable. And the things that they don't value, those things are priceless. Mm -hmm. Or they didn't see a value in them before. Those things are priceless. That's where the real value is. I feel like you start to see this. You start to see that this person is... Uh, that it would just be best to just leave this alone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some of you, if you started out as friends with this person, you're not even friends no more. You don't want to. <laughs> you don't want to be friends with this person. I feel like you don't want anything to. Someone could have just canceled some plans, left the relationship abruptly. But this person's unhappy. They're very unhappy, but they're not saying anything. They're very upset at the fact that you withdrew your love, Cancer. Yes, you, because ain't nobody gonna love you like a water sign gonna love you. Mm -hmm. So they're upset. Yes, they are. Mm -hmm. They're very upset about this. And it's just because they're not getting from you what they used to get. Mm -hmm. The love, the nurturing, the support. The consideration, the understanding, the compassion. Mm -hmm. I 
I feel like you used your intuition with this uh, this person, Cancers, and that's why you decided to just close it off. You decided to withdraw your love, withdraw. Just You just took your cards off the table. Yeah. Because you know. You know already. It's like you're, you, you may have started looking at things that happened in the relationship and connecting the dots, and you're just like... I don't even know why I thought that that was a good experience. I don't know why I thought that was happiness. I wasn't even really happy. I wasn't really satisfied. I was lying to myself that I was. Cancers, you may start to realize now that you are single, or some of you are in a better relationship, what happiness is now. Because mm -hmm. that's you start doing the comparison and you'll be like, what the fuck was I thinking? Mm-hmm. Oh boy, some of you, you could have been dealing with the earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like this person's trying to find a way to come towards you. They're trying to think of some kind of plan, some kind of strategy. It's like they want to put the work in now. Spirit, what's up with this person? What's what's going on in their subconscious? Woo, okay, that's too many cards. That's too many cards, Spirit. What's going on in this person's subconscious? What do they want with cancer? What do they really want with cancer? Oh my God. There's something they're not even questioning. This person doesn't know what they want, Cancer. They don't know what they want with you. They just know that they want to be with you. But this person... They don't show up right. They show up as the Empress in reverse. This is someone... They have a lot of inner issues, right? They don't have high self-esteem. They don't have confidence in themselves. They don't feel like they're good enough. They don't feel stable within themselves. I feel like for some of you, this person, their outer world, it could be a mess right now. It could be a mess. They could be going around sleeping with everybody or trying to sleep with everybody. And it's like they're looking for something that they're not going to find in anyone else. They have to find it within themselves. Yeah. You got two of fire in reverse. The thing is, they don't, it's back to the same thing. They want to be with you, they don't want to be with you. This person doesn't know what the fuck they want, Cancer. And that's why Spirit's like, no, 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 no. Mm -mm. You're not putting no time into this. No, no. Yeah. This person also doesn't use their intuition. Mm -mm. It's like someone, it's like a chicken with their head cut off. They're just running around doing shit. Mm -hmm. I heard um, being busy but very unproductive. Oh boy. Uh, running around doing a whole lot of nothing. That's what that means. Yeah. You have two of two of earth. This person is having a very hard time balancing their life. Yeah. This, like I said, their life could be a mess right now. That's also another rejection is protection cancer. Spirit kept your ass away from this person because they would have brought this into your life, okay? You wouldn't have been able to move forward and make these major transformations that you have made. This is death and rebirth. You've changed big time, okay? You put an end to all of that shit of not knowing what makes you happy, not knowing who you are. Mm -mm. This person is having a lot of difficulty just managing regular day-to-day -day things, you know? Paying bills, keeping up with appointments, just living regular life. They're having a hard time. I'm feeling an energy of overwhelm. Mm -hmm. This person has a hard time with priorities. They don't know how to prioritize well. Yeah. And you see this already, though. <laughs> you see this already. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm hearing someone say, priorities. What are your priorities? Mm -hmm. Someone's priorities are all fucked up, Cancer, and you know that. Yeah.
Yeah, like I said, I cannot make this up. This is a major arcana. This is wisdom. Like I said, you know this already. You've learned already with this person, the back and forth. We're together. We're not together. Oh, I want us to get married. And then it's, I need some space. Cancer, you said, fuck that. Take all the space you need. Take all the time you need. I'm out. Mm-hmm. Good for you. Right? Because it's, it's these kind of things that hold people back in life and sitting around waiting for someone to figure out what's going on, what's really good. You don't know yet? That's on you. Cancer, I'm going to pull one more card for you, Spirit. Thank you for your clear and concise messages. What last words of guidance and advice do you have for the Cancerian Collective? Thank you, Spirit. Give it a nice, good shuffle. Wow, okay. Get it together. Make the effort today. Take back your power in situations that cause you to feel helpless. Okay? Commit to a healthy routine. Take responsibility for yourself and your actions today. Create more structure in your life in order to meet your goals. You got this. Okay, Cancer? So you made the, the right decision for yourself. If you haven't, you will be. And you're doing things that are, um, I feel like they align with who you are, who you know. Uh, I want to say becoming, but it's not really becoming. It's who you re you remember yourself to be. Mm-hmm. Spirit wants you to focus on your life being organized, your priorities being in order, mm -hmm. and taking your power back. I'm going to pull one more card, Cancer. Spirit, can I get another word of guidance for the Cancerian Collective? Aw, look at this. Learn new things. Meet new people through a club, association, hobby, or class. Upgrade your skills to attract new financial opportunities and career growth. Accept opportunities to learn something new and exciting. Moonlight a new job or venture before making a permanent transition. So try things out. Take time to get to know people. Learn something new about a person or situation today. So for some of you, this is already confirmation. And for some of you, this is what spirit wants you to do. Okay. So cancers, I am going to wrap that up. This is what I have for you. If any of this resonates, smash that like button for me. I'd really, really appreciate it. If not, that's cool another time. So with that being said, you have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night. And I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye.